Roblox has been around for a long time. Today on Roblox Exhaust, I'll be going over the history of Roblox. Here's how it started. Welcome back to Roblox Exhaust. Let's get into the video. What is Roblox? Roblox is a website and virtual sandbox where players can make their own massively multiplayer online games for other players to play. It was started by David Bazuki and Eric Castle. The concept of Roblox was developed in 1997 and Roblox was founded in 2005 as Dynablox. Roblox publishes a player's games using the programming language called Lua. Players make their games using a simpler version of this program. Roblox was removed from the trustee program. It is listed in the Better Business Bureau with a poor rating. First appearing in 2005 beta release of Roblox, the death sound has remained a staple element in its 10 plus year history. The sound effect triggers when a humanoid health reaches zero out of a base maximum of 100. Since the worlds are created primarily by the players, this can be achieved by having the hitboxes assigned to the body parts of a humanoid struck by tools that are purposefully coded to decrease the health. Based on the speed of the humanoid, the sound effect would be changed. Players would attempt to make their characters move as fast as possible in the hopes of earning the sound effect drastically pitch shifted. On 26 February 2020, it was announced Roblox would see $4 billion. Just sit next to anybody, make up your mind. Year 2005. Roblox was originally called Dynablox. Dynablox was worked on from 2004 to 2005, but in 2004, the developers had a very few players and could make its games. Dynablox had two features, Build Mode and Challenge Mode. In May 2005, Dynablox was renamed to its current name, Roblox. New features were added, including logging in and logging out, building more complex things and special Roblox points. During this time, Roblox was only available in beta to certain players. This looks like, so guys, this is Crossroads. The funny thing about this is that they probably have absolutely 2006 to 2009. Roblox had another big change in 2006. In January 2006, Roblox removed their special points and made the multiplayer API, but the API was never used until March 2006. In February 2006, Roblox left beta and was made available for all players. In September 2006, Roblox made changes to the Play Multiplayer API so that players can make their own multiplayer games for free instead of the developers making them. In May 2007, the Roblox developers began making virtual items, and its first virtual item was a top hat. Roblox also started the Builders Club, which is a paid membership. Guest mode, which is for players that want to play Roblox without knowing making an account, was introduced in 2008. Later, higher forms of the Builders Club were started in 2009. Year 2009 to 2012. The first Roblox convention, the Roblox Rally 2011, was held in San Francisco on August 1st, 2011. A similar event called the Roblox Game Conference 2012 was held in 2012. The subsequent Roblox BloxCon 2013 was held in Chicago, London, and New York, and then completed by the virtual BloxCon 2013, which could be watched through a live stream. On April 1st, 2012, the site was compromised, which enabled an unknown individual to vandalize the website. Banners were added to the site, which displayed offensive content such as Thank you, Manage, for messing up the economy. Nub. And haha, these are so funny, let's go spam the forums about them, colon D. Countless other banners with offensive content were also added. Some users were given a large quantity of Roblox, and several users were compromised, most notable being one dev too. Roblox then responded by taking the site down for maintenance in order to resolve the issues with the site. The site returned on April 2nd, and on sometime around April 4th, all users who were involved in the hacking were terminated and IP banned in precaution of any further attacks. A trading system with allowing users to trade limited and limited unique items was enabled for all premium members on July 12, 2012. On December 11, 2012, Roblox started supporting mobile devices. Ah! Oh no! I, I'm purchasing! Wait, I'm not sitting! It's fine! <laughs> Let's, uh. Roblox BloxCon 2013. Roblox BloxCon 2013 was the first convention held outside of California. Three different conventions were hosted at separate dates and in three cities. The first convention was held on July 13, 2013 at the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, Illinois. The second BloxCon London was held at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. The third BloxCon New York was held at the Intrepid Sea Air and Space Museum in New York City on August 10, 2013. A final convention, the virtual BloxCon 2013, was announced in June and held online on September 21st, 2013 for all players who could not attend one of the previous conventions. Are you okay? I think so. <laughs> I'm heading down to Rainbow. Roblox Developers Conference. Since 2015, Roblox has hosted every year a conference where game developers and Roblox staff were gathered for a showcase and to share ideas. In 2015, three conferences took place in San Francisco, Atlanta, and Europe. The first conference, RDC West, was hosted in San Francisco from March 6th to March 8th. The second conference was RDC East, while the third was RDC Europe. Only users who had been invited could attend the events. In 2016, the RDC 2016 conference took place in San Jose. 
They have more than 200 attendees. There were conferences about mobile upgrades in R15 Avatar and client upgrades. In 2017, there were two locations and dates for the Roblox Developers Conference 2017. The first conference happened in San Jose between July 21st and July 23rd. It allowed creators to learn about the fundamentals of the game development, including design and monetization. The second conference happened at the YouTube Space London in the United Kingdom from August 4th to August 5th. There were informative sessions, a gaming tournament, and a game jam session where participants had to team up with other creators to build a game in a limited amount of time. Hello everyone and welcome to RDC 2017. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and take care my friends.